Photoshop is a very complex software and has many layers of various functions, most of which you won't need to know if retouching your beauty images is all you want to be able to do in Photoshop. With this video tutorial, our goal is to introduce you to the necessary basics, make it less intimidating, and help you familiarize yourself with the tools and functions that you will need. Let's begin by setting up your workspace and palettes so that every time you return to Photoshop, the interface will look familiar and conveniently set up for retouching work. Your workspace is simply how you prefer the Photoshop interface to be set up for you. It is the choice and placement of the Photoshop palettes that you use. Palettes are these little windows that have various functions and that you will use to perform various tasks while working in Photoshop. We recommend that you set up your workspace following our tutorials, and as you get familiar with the software, you will be able to adjust anything and make it more convenient for your individual needs. At the top, we have the Navigator palette. This allows you to zoom in and out of and navigate your image easily. So if you pull the slider to the right, you're zooming into your image. If you pull the slider to the left, you're zooming out of your image and you can use the actual window to navigate your image as well. Then we have adjustments. These help you to adjust the brightness, contrast, color, and saturation of your image. And you will learn about these as we progress through the tutorials. And then properties. These help you to modify your adjustment layers. Then in the bottom right corner, we have the layers palette. We will discuss layers in more depth in the next tutorial but just know for now that this is probably the palette that we'll work with the most when retouching. And then there is the history palette. This is a history log of all the steps you make in Photoshop. It will help you roll back a few steps if you don't like something you have done, or when you realize you've made a mistake and need to undo a few brush strokes or other actions. There are many more palettes in Photoshop, but we will begin with these basic ones and may use some others further in our tutorials. To add a palette, you'll go to Window in the menu bar, drop down, and tick or untick the palettes that you'd like to add or remove. 